Hey sports fans, Haroon Rashid, Finisher Creative, and here I am telling you how you can pick the right social media platform for your business. We basically live in a crazy age. <laughs> no, not that type of crazy. I mean crazy in the sense that we are bombarded every day by social media. I mean it's social media this, social media that. And nowadays businesses are kind of saying which social media platform should we be using? I mean now there are literally hundreds and hundreds of social media platforms to choose from. That's a lot of sites! But fear not, this video is going to show you which social media platforms you should use for your business. Whew! <laughs> You're welcome. So the first thing you need to do is to actually start and go right back to your online marketing plan. If you just had a face like that, then you need to watch this video right here. That will talk you through the basic anatomy of an online marketing plan. But for the rest of you that do know what your marketing plan is all about, go and revisit that and actually decide what are we trying to achieve. Because at the end of the day, social media is just a tool. <laughs> tool. And you will use that tool to accomplish whatever business goals that you have set in that marketing plan. Second of all, you will be able to determine from the marketing plan what kind of content are we going to be creating. You will most likely be able to create content in different formats because, let's face it, everybody's different. Not everybody likes videos, they might like podcasts to listen to when they go to the gym. Not everybody likes podcasts, but they might like to read blog posts on an evening at the end of the day. The point is that everybody is different and we like to consume content in different ways. And then number three, based upon the content that you know that you're going to create, you'll then know which social media platforms are going to suit your content the best. So if you end up having a lot of video content, then you probably know that YouTube is a good place for you to start. Alternatively, if you think that we're going to be able to use a lot of visual content like pictures and images and infographics, then maybe something like Facebook, Pinterest or Instagram might be equally better for you. But one really important thing to consider is that you don't have to go on every single social media site out there. Only pick the ones that are relevant to you. I mean, I'm not on every single social media site. I don't have to be. I only go, and this is really important, I only go where my audience or my customers hang out. Find out where your customers hang out. That will also be able to help you determine what kind of content you should be creating. So, I mean, if your audience or if your customers really like video content, you need to create video content. If they love blog posts and they like to read things, or if they like podcasts, develop content in those formats. And so that's basically it. That was really quick! It is, because it's really simple. So I hope that you found that useful. Remember that you can check me out on Facebook and Twitter in the video description below. You can also subscribe to my channel here for more video tips. And I hope to see you soon. <laughs> cool.